Hey now, how's it? Booker Corrigan here at the Katie Sampson Lacrosse Festival, joined by Matt Marshall, two former Radnor lacrosse players, back in the booth <laughs> together again. A great occasion. We got an honor going on right now. Katie Sampson herself is going to thank the crowd for coming. Coach, Let's talk a little bit about Radnor High School. They've been hosting this for a number of years. It's a great event. It's the 14th year, Booker, and in my opinion, it's just one of the best community events, uh, not only in Radnor, but uh, I'd say in the country. We have a, uh, a very dedicated group of people here who are, who are very committed uh, to funding spinal cord injury research and uh, just couldn't be prouder today, Booker. And, we, and we've got a weather pattern here that's uh, cooperating, so it couldn't be a better day for lacrosse. Exactly. Cool it off a little bit. Uh, we're going to have a quick announcement, then we're going to come back for the opening face-off. But it is an absolute honor to once again be back at the Katie Sampson Lacrosse Festival here at Radnor High School. Booker Corgan, Matt Marshall will be back with some more comments and then the opening face-off right after this. Getting set for the opening face-off, a little bit about Downingtown East. Coach Todd Cliggett has done a fantastic job this year. They've been a little up and down with injuries, uh, but they've getting great performances. Goaltender Mark Marks probably go the first half, and goalie, Br goalie Brody Wilson playing the second half, the sophomore bound for Yale. He's got a great defender in Jake Peden. Uh, Matt, let's talk quickly about the Radnor Raiders. What do you expect to see? Sure, we got Alex Anderson in the goal. We've got uh, two junior uh, defensemen and a senior. We've got Mike Farnish and Hal Marshall. We've got Dario Falcone on D, a couple midfields. You see Jack Wilson out there, and uh, let's see, Connor Burns. Take it from here, Booker. Radner wins the first faceoff on a violation, so that's going to give them the opening possession here. First quarter brought to you by the Friends of Radner Lacrosse doing a great job supporting the Katie Sampson Festival. Of course, the girls' team led by coach Brooke Fritz, just had a fantastic win over Marion. Girls team playing great, boys team getting after it right now. Coach Beezer doing a nice job building the momentum that coach Buzza was able to provide him with. Justin Kuhn driving hard to the cage, doesn't like what he sees, pulls it back and he's gonna wait a second. Kuhn's pass knocked to the turf shot. That time, Brendan Mays has it knocked down, and now we have a defender down for Downingtown East. He may have taken a shot, Booker. Jeff Kiley, attackman number 25 for Radner, doing a nice shot, picking up the loose change. But with 11.02 remaining, and that defender has not moved a whole lot here. We're going to keep an eye on that. Look, while we have a little action, uh, break in the action, I should say, we have a uh, beautiful day out here. The Katie Sansom Festival has been a part of the Radnor community for now 14 years, and we're, we're more than uh, excited by the big crowd that we've got assembled here for the final game, Downingtown East versus the Radnor Raiders. Defenseman Adam Stata, looks like he's the one who's down 27. Number nine for Radnor, Jack Norton. Doing a nice job. Of course, number six, Owen Shirley. Number 22, Nick Kelly. And I read you those names just to prove that I can read from the correct sides of the rosters Absolutely. because earlier I may have, might have been erroneous, erroneous on both counts. Chaz Reinhold was a genius, an innovator. And this is Jack Wilson, for, the artist formerly known as Justin Kuhn, who, of course, is his counterpart, number one, for Downingtown East. This is my first game ever though, so I think I'm doing okay so far. You're doing great, Book, and it's great to have you back on the home turf. I know it's been a while since you suited up for the Raiders, but <laughs> it's a pleasure to be with you here up in the booth. <laughs> and now the Raiders back on offense, and here's Jack Norton. Norton, a little toe drag, has it dislodged. Coming up a loose change, Kyle Tucker. Tucker's gonna take it for a spin in Downingtown's first possession We got Sam Camp there, 18, book. He's a uh, long stick midi. He's been playing outstanding this season. Uh, lots of agility, speed, and strength. Ian Real has it taken away. Mike Barnish, number 21, there, book on the on the Raider defense. Outlet pass to Alex Anderson to Hal Marshall. And here's your man, Hal Marshall. Clearing pass, Grant. 
Gel. Giselle, excuse me, and with the finish, Owen Shirley, the senior attackman, one nothing Raiders. Yeah. Well, the the sun is literally shining on the Raiders season this uh, this year, Booker. And I'll tell you, after a, a, a sort of a nice start, ten and one, undefeated in the Central League, we're, we're hoping for big and better things. But who knows? This Downingtown East team could be a real contender today, and we got to keep our eyes open. And now we have, there's an extra ball, there's two extra balls on the field. They're gonna clear those off. That's just dedication and sacrifice by the Radner defense going back to clear them off there. It's impressive work, it really is. impressive. It is. That might have been some of the best work I did in my playing days too. You know, Matt and I played on the same attack unit and I cleared some balls off field. We did, and uh, I think during the winter time we used to share some time on the same uh, forward line over at uh, Radner Rink, didn't we both? Same sheet of ice. As we like to say, we spilled the same blood and the same mud. Yes. It's great seeing uh, uh, Coach Corrigan get the props uh, earlier today. I thought we had a, uh, a great tribute to him. He's been a, a big part of the Raider coaching staff, uh, as have uh, obviously the other uh, coaches, Friel, Sims, uh, Mr. Mr. Beezer, and of course, uh, Mr. Decipio. But we have got a a, a star legend with, with Big George. And a fella I grew up just down the hall from. Who's that? George T. Corrigan Jr. Who was the head coach here early 90s. The Southeastern Pennsylvania Coach of the Year, if I'm not mistaken. Ground ball that time, Sam Camp, the long stick biddy headed for St. Joe, gets it checked away. Yes. And I'll tell you, Booker, this uh, Sam Camp has really been a staple in our defense this year. We have had uh, just unbelievable results with Mr. Camp. Uh, now it's Downingtown East's turn, and we'll see how this Radner defense holds up against the Big Blue. Now, once, uh, see, we've got a um, got an isolation here. It looks like uh, got Jack Fish, or no, 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 that's uh, Jack Wilson on him, number number one there, Booker. It's a uh, trying to ISO against this uh, Radner defense. Ian Real now driving for East. Downingtown East only trailing one nothing first quarter brought to you by the friends of Radner Lacrosse. And this Katie Sampson tournament cannot be a better run of it. I mean, it honestly is fantastic. East likes their setup right now. Going back at it, Ian Real. Real pushes it up top. Nice little catch, but a little dropsy, a little bobble there by Wingate. Wingate, the midfielder headed for Lynchburg. And now it's back with Real. Great play, great pass. The finish on that one. Nathan Wingate, he's not gonna get much easier. Not, not at all, Booker. And this is where uh, Coach Booker is, excuse me, Coach, Coach Beezer has been given uh, a lot of attention to this East team. They seem like they have uh, a really uh, solid offense, and we just saw it in action there. Um, as we're waiting for the face-off here, just a couple words about Friends of Radnor Lacrosse. They're our quarterly sponsor. Uh, great organization, and uh, again, another testament to the strength and uh, commitment to lacrosse in Radnor Township. All right, Book, it looks like we've got some offensive action going here. <laughs> A little scramble right now, Downingtown East, Nolan Little headed for Hartford. Comes up with a tied up one to one, 818 remaining first quarter. Can't wait to get to the Great American Pub later on tonight though. Just giving some props to the friends of Radnor Lacrosse too, Book. I just want to make, make mention of that organization. Uh, I'd say it's, it's probably a board of six or eight people uh, keeping youth lacrosse uh, front and foremost in the community and, and helping people who can't afford, uh, you know, some of the expenses of equipment and camps and clinics and so forth. Number three, Will Umberger driving hard right-handed, passing it up, and Michael Reiser with the shot. Now we're going to see a drive from Lucas Iacovino. And it's back with Umberger. Umberger defended now by Tommy Myers. Myers bound for UMass. Umberger slips and falls, but gains his footing. 
Downingtown in their road blues. Radner home whites. Swarming defense there. Coach Beezier doing a nice job teaching that defense. Hal Marshall coming up with a GB, little flip. And now we got bodies flying. Hot sloppy mess there outside the top of the box. It's going to be Downingtown possession. Andrew Brennan comes up with it, gets it quickly over to Kevin Anderson. And now everybody on Downingtown is going to get a catch. Ian Real. And Real Michael Rissick. Nice game today, huh, Booker? He's, uh, he's been contributing nicely to, uh, to Downingtown. Errant pass here, now it's going to be a, again, ground ball opportunity, a little behind the back. Guy knocked down clearly from the front, that's clearly from the back. Referees for today's game, Arnold Babar, Alan Stanwick, and John Cocktosen. Heard there might be an alternate on the, uh, on the sidelines too, one Horace P. Jerky. Gotta love Horace Pitt. I tell you what, he'd like to see him. I think he's running the clock right now. Radner's Jack Norton. I like the way he plays. Norton's going to get the long stick a lot throughout his career. Oh, and Shirley gets an inside move shot. Gold Shirley, same spot. He put the other one, and it's 2-1 to one now. Radner Raiders with 5.57 to go in the first quarter. Great group of sponsors today. We have the Katie Sampson Festival helping us bring this game to you. Of course, NXT Lacrosse. We will talk about them in the third quarter, the Great American Pub. But as always, first and foremost, the Friends of Radnor Lacrosse. They help the boys and the girls programs. They do a great job. And we can't say enough about how well Coach Brooke Fritz has done with that girls program, the Radnor Raiders, making it all the way through the state playoffs last year. Absolutely, Booker. And uh, proud tradition. Uh, Brooke has followed up Phyllis Kilgore, who could be the winning, winningest most coach in the girls uh, lacrosse at the high school level. So we're, uh, we're very proud of the girls program here at Radnor. Uh, I guess the other thing we neglected to mention was that uh, your brother and uh, former Radnor all-star all George T. Corrigan. Ooh, D. Twaggy. Yeah, was a great contributor to our last fundraiser for the Friends of Radnor Lacrosse. So we have a lot of admiration for George T. Large George goes by many acronyms, but yes, we sir. we uh, we love him. Take care. Mike Farnish with the strip delicious takeaway, showing why he's headed to Notre Dame in a couple years. First quarter, 5-14 remaining. Coach Beecher takes a timeout, and we will as well. We'll be right back. Jack Wilson initiating play here for the Raiders. Coach Beecher, along with Coach Buzza, Corrigan, DeCipio, Friel, and Sims. And now it's Nick Kelly, senior midfielder. Beezer had some big, big shoes to fill after uh, George T. Corrigan coached the Raiders to a lot of success here in the uh, not only the Central League, but they got beyond the, uh, the regular season a few times. And this is back with Wilson playing a little pass with Nick Kelly. And behind the cage, Jack Fisher. And now we got an invert for Kelly. Kelly driving lefty, little through pass in and out of the stick of Wilson. And now we get a push, it's gonna be Radner possession. And here we go with a two on one on this side. Radner, open cutter, shot just wide or knocked down. Nice, nice, nice uh, shot there by Drew Ryan. Couple whacks in there for Drew Ryan. Jack Fisher riding all the way up to the midfield line. Now it's Downingtown. He's back on offense. They have been playing defense for a while. It'll be interesting to see the pace that they want to play. Rafferty, just a sophomore, number 17, slows things down. And now it's in the capable of stick of Nathan Wingate. 
Again, Wingate bound for Lynchburg. Cougars seem to be sizing up this Radnor defense. I, I give these boys some credit. They're really uh, they're trying to pick apart this Radnor defense, otherwise known as uh, the Iron Curtain. Ooh. Inside feed, ball goes down to the turf. And Coach Cliggett's gonna take a timeout and talk it over. The Katie Sampson Lacrosse Festival, another successful day raising money to help in the aid of spinal cord research. Check out the Katie Sampson Lacrosse Festival. Go online and just Google Katie Sampson Lacrosse. It's a tremendous organization. Kevin Meekham gonna start the ball for Downingtown. He's guarded by Hal Marshall. Rafferty now isolated behind the cage. Grant Giselle. Dario Falcone Booker, he's been a real contributor, just a sophomore, no less. The defender. Yes, number 37, Dario. Mm -hmm. And this is Wingate going against Sam Camp. Shot by Meekham, bounds over the cage. Two to one, your score, 228 remaining. First quarter, great event here. Radner in white against Downingtown East in blue. A nice ground ball on the side, picked up by Farnish. Farnish. And he gets it quickly to Anderson. Notre Dame commit that Mike Farnish has had a great season. Uh, has started consistently since he's been a freshman. Nothing but uh, blue skies ahead for Mike Farnish. A lot of substitutions coming right now. Minute and 45 seconds remaining first quarter. Radner ahead two to one, but the planet rooting for Downingtown to score that next goal, right, Pat? Coach Beezer coming in with a little mishmash second midfield unit. Mikey Thompson, the junior, number 14. Also a nice contributor this season, Mike Thompson. Just a really uh, solid player for the Raiders and, and, and it's come up big with a few goals for us this year. Jack Norton trying to go back to that off stick hip bouncer. Couple of Radners gold from Owen Shirley. Same spot. And here is Shirley. Ball pops out of his stick. Some might say he bobbled that one. Well, Adam Richter used to bobble every, one, every once in a while. Remember those days. But, <laughs> Book, I, I tell you, this, uh, this, this Downingtown Cougars team is coming up strong. They really have uh, put, put the screws to Radner, and I, I don't know if it's a combination of uh, just their sheer wit and determination, or, or the Raiders could be a little sloppy on offense. Meekham with that last shot. And now it's Wingate. 30 seconds now remaining first half. Wingate isolated up top, defended by Thompson. Wingate 20 seconds now remaining in the quarter. Meekham comes over, wants to give him a pick. Wingate calls him off. Little pick action on the crease, but Wingate's driving hard lefty. Sweeps across the top, gets the shot off, save. Tidy little save there by Anderson. He ships it down the length of the field, and now we got bodies flying. Quarter comes to an end, no horn, but that'll do it for the first quarter. Huge thank you to the friends of Radner Lacrosse for their sponsorship. We'll be back with the second quarter. <laughs> 